Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, Dude Shrimp, everybody, Faith, Baby Daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in. We go be in Colorado with it, y'all. So before I get started, I'm going to try to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, y'all. We on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Help me get them. It don't cost you nothing to subscribe. Now, last week, uh, one of my people sent me a video. And they say, the in Colorado, the Vietnamese gang have taken over a complex building. So they then took over the building because these are the migrants. And they got migrants and then they got Vietnamese gangs mixing in. Because by the border being right open, they letting everybody come. They can't tell the difference until they get here. And then it's almost too late. The Vietnamese gangs are coming from prison. They are letting these people out of their prisons. And like since the border's open, we can let them out and send them over there. Kind of the same thing England did when they sent all the people to America, y'all. This is something that these countries will do because it ain't going to hurt them. It's only going to help them to get rid of they, they wasted people, the people that are criminals in their country. They go send them over here. And the United States don't see it until it's too late. It's going to be too bad in a minute. Now, it was a lady down there. She's familiar with it. I'm going to show y'all a video of what she said. Common Sense 101. The Venezuelan prison gang known as Trenderagua prison gang. has taken over an apartment complex in uh, Aurora, Colorado, right outside of Denver. Um, the property manager known as CBZ Management has been trying desperately to regain control of their apartments that they have just spent three hundred thousand dollars to bring to code with renovations but they can't even go in there because the venezuelan gang has taken over their apartments the um um city has denied the allegations local officials and the media including kyle clark of nine news have denied the allegations even though they have posted eviction notices on the doors of residents and given them a very short amount of time to move out find somewhere else to live figure it out we don't care if this had been cherry creek if this had been greenwood village Jared Polis, the Colorado governor, would have sent in the damn National Guard. But because it's full of black and brown people in Aurora, nobody cares. This is a very dangerous problem. This is just a testing ground. Yep. You need to understand this. This CBZ management says... We would like to be able to resume normal operations at our buildings, but we cannot do so under the threat of present and immediate danger against residents, staff, and management. The spokesperson for this company goes on to say, this is an issue our city needs to face head on with law enforcement and the further support of our state and country's leaders uh, borders are Kamala Harris to protect affected tenants the surrounding communities the surrounding communities and Americans across the nation translation CBZ management is giving the country and the surrounding areas in Denver a heads up your community is next and if you think you're protected because of how you vote or because of your location 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 you're not you're not safe your children are not <coughs> safe you better get civic minded and stop saying i'm not into politics because politics is into you you got kamala harris running around now wanting to be the head of the entire country but she has spent the last four years ignoring the border as the the borders are although she was given that job and for somebody who claims to be a baddie and a boss lady and a strong empowered woman she didn't take the lead on a damn thing except ignoring you and putting uh twerking rappers and fried chicken into neighborhoods to try to get your vote once again for failing
telling you the previous four years. But guess what? She wants a chance to do it all over again. Yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. DHS, Department of Homeland Security, uh, was investigated by the Office of uh, the Office of Inspector General. There was a report uh, in June that was the final report issued uh, that says DHS needs to improve its screening and vetting of asylum seekers and non-citizens applying for admission into the United States. This is a very detailed report. I suggest you go read it so that we cannot be accused of mis and disinformation. Go read the report by the Office of Inspector General. Lastly, I would like to point out the very glaring truth and fact that President Trump has been saying for years that these foreign countries are releasing their prisoners and sending them to the United States. They are releasing their asylum residents to come to the United States. They're here, okay? According to this uh, report by DHS, CBP, it is widely known that Trinidad is a Venezuelan prison gang. Prison! They release them from Venezuelan prisons and they now live here around you and your children. Are you still going to sit by? and claim that Trump is racist or something's wrong with him when he is the only politician who is willing to address this head on and to not just address it but to eliminate the problem in its entirety because they're illegal foreign nationals who are not supposed to be here in the first place are you still going to sit there indignant with your uh, cognitive dissonance and pretend that Trump is the problem when it's the politicians that you are donating money to and have been voting for for years and have gotten zero results? Is this what I'm led to believe? Let me tell you something, Becky. <laughs> You're not safe. Your children are not safe. Nope. This is not hyperbolic, and it's not fear-mongering. You better go read this damn DHS report. Like CB, CBZ management said, this is a problem that is going to extend into local communities and into the United States as a whole. Yep. You better start contacting your local police, your local sheriff, your local politicians, your city council, your governor, your mayors, your city managers, and you better start asking them what the hell is going on and what are you going to do about this problem? Because I promise you, it will be you next. You better vote responsibly in November if you want to be safe in your own damn home. Common sense, bro. Common sense. Use it. Yeah, I'm not in the black market. Now, somebody else has showed me this, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm like, oh, it ain't happening, really. I mean, knowing it, because see, where I'm at, it's not like that. It's no immigrant gangs over here. You know, we got a few uh, Hispanics that moved in and bought the old abandoned houses, but it ain't not no gangbangers. And it's not no migrants, y'all. Ain't no tents or none of that, because I'm in Inglewood, Chicago, on the south side. But I heard on the east side that they took over a building, and they already trying to go to war with them guys. Uh, that's what Cairo just went to jail for, y'all. No Lemon Cairo just went to jail. One of the guys got killed over there, and he was trying to go retaliate. See, if these are Vietnamese prison gangs, where they go thrive that they're going to take over them buildings, a big building, look like a project building, 
or if they give them one of them self to see. That's why they evict them out of them self to see. They know what they're doing. They're keeping it on the low. But really, they over here to try to replace the black people, y'all. Because Kamalita Harris, whatever her name is, she already saying the illegal immigrants are not criminals. That's a lie. That's a whole lie. And the ones she might have point out that ain't criminal. So, okay, what you call that? What's going on in Colorado? In the city, the, the reason they ain't rushing to do it, y'all, because it's in a black neighborhood. And they looking at like, yeah, where well, y'all should be used to gangs. Oh, it's cool when y'all do it. But it's a problem when they do it. You know, this is how they looking at it, y'all. Oh, it's cool for y'all to have gangs, but y'all y'all don't want no other gang over here? Oh, you don't want no gangs. Kind of how the white people been feeling about black people all the time. Now, y'all got people y'all don't want around y'all? This is what they thinking. They ain't looking at the big picture that these gangs are going to spread out and get further and further, y'all. And the borders are open every day, y'all. I have never seen this. All the years I've been living in the United States, they ain't never let the borders open like that. We should have been. And look, that's why the man ain't running no more. He trying to switch it to let us vote for the woman because he know people know, yeah, we're like a black woman as president. Yay. And we ain't we missing all this. It's a distraction, y'all. And let me tell some of you guys something. We not go get them borders closed until Trump get in office, y'all. And I hate to say it. At first, I was going to vote for the woman. But now I'm not. Because if Trump don't get back in this office, y'all, we go have migrants everywhere. And this going to be a war because they ain't going to be able to take over. Like they think. You see they showing all them old people in Colorado. I guarantee that's probably a senior building or something like that. Nobody was able to stand up to them. They should have been nipped that in the bud. But, hey, it is what it is, you know. And let me tell some of you people that have uh, been incarcerated. You can vote. Y'all can vote. I hear all these people. Oh, I'm a, I, I'm a convicted felon. I can't vote. Oh, man, I can't vote. I've never been in the joint four times, bro. Four times. I vote every year. This is a voter's registration card, if you can't see it in the light. I vote every year. See what it is to vote again, y'all? Yeah, when you get out and you're on parole, you can't vote. If you're on probation, you can't vote. If you got an open case, you can't vote. But once you off parole, you ain't on probation, and you ain't got no open cases, what you have to do is go re-register to vote. Go to your post office and get a re-register form to vote. A voter's registration card, you just fill it out again and send it in, and they're going to send you your card, and you can go and vote. And guess what else? Some of you guys, you can even... Get your FOI card. You can own a legal gun, y'all. When you get your voter's registration card back, they call this uh, getting your uh, citizen rights back. You got that plot for all this, though. They just ain't going to give it to you. So you got to go online. Just Google it and ask Google, can you own an FOI card if you've been to prison? And they go going to give you all the information. They go even give you the lawyer that will help you, assist you with getting your gun. And the reason you go need that because if they keep these borders open, you go out to shoot somebody legally, bro. You got to shoot somebody legally. You can't be running around talking about, man, huffing, we finna tear it up. Yeah, y'all will, but you go go to jail, bro. And if you tired of going to jail or don't want to go to jail because you... Because you might have to put in a little work because the police and the government ain't finna go head on at this problem. You got to protect your own neighborhood. Eventually, you're going to have to protect your own neighborhood and children. And I ain't talking about just banging like that. I'm talking about working class people 
They got kids and things going to school. Why y'all think human trafficking is going up so high, y'all? Have y'all ever stopped and looked at how many kids we are missing? Just go on TV sometime. Matter of fact, go online and just look at all the people that are missing. They are selling our children, y'all. They selling these kids. Y'all seen the movie Taken. Y'all seen that movie. Anytime you see a movie and it shines a spotlight on something, they got it from somewhere. They didn't just think this up. All oh, this is true, y'all. This is really what's happening. This is really what's happening. And listen, I seen one guy, he rescued like 15 kids. He was on the highway and sent them in the cage. And he called the police. You know what the police said? This happened a lot along them border states. What they mean by border state, any state close to Mexico and close to another country. All them states, the southern states that lines the border, it happens a lot. If a child is kidnapped from Chicago, they end up over there and they go get them across the border. And once they get over there, they never see them again. The islands, you hear these people talking about like the celebrities, dealing with kids, all these people, they take them to an island in another country somewhere and molest them and do what they want to do. Some of them might end up being sold to one of your favorite celebrities and be locked up in the house somewhere. Police never going there. They not worrying about it. They figure ain't nobody coming to our house. You never know who you go in somebody's basement and what you'll find. Remember the girl that was locked up right next door to the black man? And she finally got to the door and hollered help. And he helped get her out of the house, y'all. Would you believe that? He said all that time, he had been next to the guy. He had smoked weed with the guy, cigarettes, barbecue with him. Never know this man had a whole girl locked up in her, his basement. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this. This is really serious, y'all. This is a serious problem. I really don't get into politics too deep. I usually pick somebody. I usually try to stay Democrat. But this year, I'm sorry, y'all. I have to vote for Trump. I'm sorry. Because these borders are open. It's a problem, y'all. It's really a problem. And white folks, they know it's a problem. It's a slap in the face how they do to black folks. They won't give us nothing. But here it is. These people, y'all don't owe them nothing. Y'all let them come over here. Y'all finna give them all this money. Why y'all can't give this money to black folks? Y'all make your own money. So why is it a problem? To give it to people. It ain't like you got to go to another country and ask for the money. You print it up. You print it up. But hey, some people say you got to have gold for every dollar of BS. You think they got gold for the dollars that they be asking for billions of dollars? No, they don't. No, they don't. They say that. That's what they want you to believe. You could probably go watch the World Trade Center you know, where they're keeping that money at in New York, down there. You probably won't see no gold going in and out of there. You'd be like, I thought they were putting money in. No, they ain't. They just saving it, holding it. BS, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. This is really crazy, y'all. And uh, I hate the boy. I'm going to end up turning into a whole preacher, y'all. You hear me? A whole preacher. Mm -mm -mm. What the world is coming to, y'all? It's your boy G. Shump, everybody, fake baby daddy, voice of the street. I'm going to plant you now, dig you later. I'm out of here.